Now what we do is that uh, we are on an open space and people can come whenever they want uh, at the office and we are more like animating the group than managing them and we let them take a lot of decisions. <laughs> Jean-Charles, thank you very much for joining Duke Scobby TV today. It's an absolute pleasure. And we're going to look at a really interesting topic today, talking about uh, differences between X, Y, and Z yep. generations. Mm -hmm. So to start off with, how do you sort of hire, manage, and motivate generations Y and Z at Lord Louis? Ah, oh, we... It, it, it's, a, it's a long story because we started with, with X people a few years ago. Uh, then we find out that we needed extremely technical uh, people, so we need uh, Y people for that. So um, to hire them, we go through business school. And um, at the beginning, we, we just didn't do a difference between X and Y. But after a, a while, we discovered that they are uh, typically answering to other uh, mindset so now what we do is that uh, we are on an open space and people can come whenever they want uh, at the office and we are more like animating the group than managing them and we let them take a lot of decisions and some of them even work at home from home so we use uh, Skype uh, WhatsApp and different uh, uh, computers and, and technologies to, to create a link between them Mm -hmm. So what are the major sort of behavioral differences between the generations do you find? Uh, the main difference with why people is that they, they want to understand why they do things. For X people, you just tell them what to do and they are uh, eager to learn from the elder. Uh, why people, they just learn by themselves and uh, sometimes they don't even listen at all to what X did. Uh, and even worse, sometimes they think X generation did wrong. So uh, you really have to convince them. So we take uh, almost two hours a, a day discussing, arguing about how to do things, why we do things, and how they want things to be done. But once they know they want to do it, they are perfect at doing it. So it's much more uh, time to exchange about things. You talk about these differences. Did you create then a special setup at Lord Louis for Generation Y? Yeah, definitely. For example, the, the meeting table is a ping pong table now. We have uh, small football. I don't know you tell it. Foosball. Foosball. Mm. Um, it, it's, it's not Disneyland, but there's something like that. Uh, we want at the office uh, to create conditions so that they can relax. They can take naps, for example. Uh, we also serve them drinks and coffee for free. So when they come to, to the office, it's a little bit like if they came to home. Uh, there's something like that. So yes, there's a physical different setup. And they don't need a physical presence like uh, X did. Yeah. What do, what do you mean by that? X needed a physical presence in what, in what sense? It means we, we do more meetings with X people. Uh, y people, if you let them do what they want, they, they think they know. So they will try to do something. So if you can focus this energy, you don't have to meet uh, anymore on, on precise basis. Uh, you, you give the global setup and then they, they do it by themselves. So you can delegate much more uh, to, to Y generation. It's really interesting for management. So we talked there about the differences between X and Y. Mm -hmm. Looking more specifically at generation Y then, how do they interact with each other? Yeah, they are more on their own. Wh when they meet, uh, they are immediately friendly. Uh, for example, they created their own WhatsApp uh, uh, subgroup. But then when they leave, they don't uh, interact uh, each other anymore. So it's really different. With X people, uh, when they stick together, they, they would see them uh, a few years after. Uh, y generations they are immediately friendly, but they, uh, when they are out, they are, they are out. That's fascinating stuff. So with that in mind, what's, what's the future for Generation Y in your opinion? It's a difficult question because I, I just heard coming in, in the studio that 47% of the population in France wants to create their own company. And in, in Y generation, it's, it's more again. So if you s it's cool to start your own company uh, when you're really young because you can fail and fail and fail again. But the trouble is that you also have 
to learn um, with a normal way also. So I don't know. I think job and work will change in a few years. You, you'll have more smaller missions. So the, the trouble to adapt and adapt and adapt, I, I don't know if they will be able to adapt when, when they have families, when they are 40, 50 years old. So I don't know. Uh, what I know is that they adapt faster than X generation. Uh, they focus on more subtle subject, but on the long run, I, I have no answer because they will have to adapt and adapt and adapt again. But I think they are more cool about finding a, a new jobs. When we are preparing this interview, you told me that you like to travel to adapt to adapt. So it's change. Uh, you, you represent change and uh, everything is changing fast with technology those days. So you are definitely much more adapted to change. So I think I'm not anxious for them, but uh, they will have to adapt as always, as everyone. Jean-Charles, thank you very much. It's thank been a pleasure. You. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for watching. And if you like this interview and would like to see more, be sure to head over to ducoscopy.tv.